Welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of x equals x. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to divide by x on both sides. So we have x to the power of x equals x, and if I divide by x on both sides, well, first off, on the right side, x divided by x, well, that's simply 1, because anything divided by itself is 1. Now, on the left-hand side, we have x to the power of x divided by x, and x here, our denominator, this can be written as x to the power of 1. And if you guys re recall an important property of exponents, it states that a to the power of m over a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So this is the formula for dividing exponents. So right here we have x to the power of x divided by x to the power of 1. And x in this case is a, x is m, and 1 is n. So if we put our variables into this form, we get x to the power of x minus 1. So now we're actually going to rewrite this as another, actually before I, before I rewrite this, another important property of exponents is that if we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So x to the power of x minus 1, this would equal x to the power of x times x to the power of negative 1. And this is still equal to 1. So now, if I divide both sides by x to the power of negative 1, These two would cancel out, so I would get x to the power of x is equal to, well, 1 over x to the power of negative 1. This is equal to 1 over x to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over x to the power of 1. So this would be 1 over x. And 1 over 1 over x, well, this is simply equal to x. So 1 over x to the power of negative 1 is simply just x. So now we get x to the power of x is equal to x. And now x, the exponent for x, is actually 1, right? So we have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 1. And as you can see here, we have the same bases for both of these. Meaning, if we have the same bases, our exponents are the same as well. So that means if we set our exponents equal to each other, we get x equals 1. So we get x equals 1. And this is a solution. However, as you can see here, remember this equation? x to the power of x minus 1 equals 1. Well, I'm actually going to rewrite this as x to the power of x minus 1 equals x to the power of 0. Because 1 here, 1 is the same thing as x to the power of 0. Now, we're going to do the same thing what we do here. We're going to set our exponents equal to each other. So we're going to set x minus 1 equals 
0. And if we add 1 on both sides, we get x equals 1. So this is another way of doing it. And actually, we have our solution as x equals 1. However, there is actually another solution to this problem. x equals negative 1. This would also work as well. Because if we plug this into our equation, for example, negative 1 to the power of negative 1 equals negative 1. Well, negative 1 to the power of negative 1 is simply 1 over negative 1. And this is equal to negative 1. And 1 over negative 1 is simply just negative 1. So negative 1 equals negative 1. So this is right. So x equals negative 1. This is also a solution to this equation. Welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 24. Now, what I'm first going to do is from the left hand side, because we have three terms that are the same, I'm actually going to factor out 2 to the power of x from this. So now we have 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x is 1 plus same thing 1 and plus same thing once again 1 and this equals 24 so now we have 2 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 24 now if we add what's in the parentheses so 1 plus 1 plus 1 we get 3. So we get 2 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 24. Now I actually want to isolate this here, 2 to the power of x. So to do that, I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides to cancel out this 3. So if I divide by 3 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I'm left with 2 to the power of x on the left-hand side is equal to 24 divided by 3 is 8. So 8, we could actually write 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And because these two bases here are the same, this also means that the exponents are the same as well, meaning that this is equal to this. So x is equal to 3. So this is our answer. Now, if I plug this in to our equation here, we have 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 24. Now, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So now we have 8 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to 24. Now, 8 plus 8 is 16, and 16 plus 8 is 24, so we are left with 24 is equal to 24. And this is right, so we know our solution is right.